Hello and welcome to the Rocky Mountain Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us today. We're really excited that you're here um, to hear from some great schools and programs and get some awesome information to hopefully help you as you look for that next step um, in your college uh, search and your education. We have a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. You can direct your schools to a specific presenter by including their organization name in your question, or you can leave a question that's open for all of our representatives to answer for you. Your camera and your microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. That's why that Q&A button is really important. This is just one of many different sessions that are happening as a part of programming, so be sure to sign up for more sessions. This presentation is being recorded, as are all of the presentations. They'll be available within about a week. You can find the video recordings and sign up for additional sessions at that same website where you initially registered. That is strivescan.com slash RMACAC. I'm excited to turn it over and welcome uh, our first presenter. We're going to be learning about the University of Melbourne first. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much um, for joining. Um, I am Julia I'm with the University of Melbourne, based in beautiful Melbourne, Australia. So today I'm just going to go over some um, basic um, great things about um, a UniMel degree. Um, bachelor degrees in Australia are only three years, um, and they are equivalent to like a four-year um, American degree um, because we we don't really do general ed requirements um, and we are part of the group of eight universities which is similar to an Ivy League institution down under at a much um, at a very affordable price and of course you get to have an amazing adventure in a beautiful city and country. So Uni Melb is actually ranked number one in Australia and we are ranked 25 in the world. Uh, we are a large um, public research intensive university um, that has um, all sorts of different programs that you would find at a large public school here in the state. So everything from the humanities to STEM, performing arts, um, business, and so on. And as you can see, a lot of these programs are ranked in the top um, 20 globally. So one thing that's going to be a bit of a point of a difference is that you'll apply directly to the program that you are interested in. So if you are interested in studying marine biology, you'll apply directly to a Bachelor of Science. Um, so there is um, flexibility to move around within that program, um, but it is a little bit more focused. So you would have to apply to a different program if you wanted to do something different, drastically different, like for, for example, performing arts. Um, to business and marketing. Um, entry requirements are very straightforward. Um, if you meet the entry requirements, most likely you will get an offer. So students do tend to be quite self-selecting. Um, admissions is really just based on GPA, SAT or ACT and AP prereqs. Um, no extracurriculars, no essays, no statements, no references are required. Um, so the whole application process will be definitely under an hour of your time. Um, and like I mentioned, very um, straightforward. So these are sort of the, the entry requirements we are looking for. So um, again, if you wanted to do a marine biology degree, you'd need a 3.2 and an SAT of 1320 or an ACT of 28. Um, we do um, have entry based on the full IB diploma as well. Um, if you didn't get a chance to take the ACT or SAT um, due to COVID, we do have some alternatives. So we have an online stat test you could do, or you could do an AP aggregate. Um, please feel free to, to reach out if you'd like some further details. I'll be popping my contact info in the chat. Um, and the, the academic calendar is a little different down under. So Semester one is March to June and semester two is July to November. The seasons are switched. So you will be having um, winter in July and your summer holiday will be November to Feb. 
So it's very common for students to think that it's going to be cost prohibitive to attend a school overseas, but in many cases, it can be very affordable. Uni Melb accepts um, um, US student loans, um, and it can be, you know, if you compare the exchange rate and the fact that these are three years, um, in many cases, they can be um, comparable to in state. So we definitely appreciate that your education is gonna be one of the biggest investments that you ever make. So we're really proud to rank seven in the world for graduate employability. There's really um, robust support for, um, for students in terms of the career services. Um, there's undergraduate research, there's a huge alumni network, um, and we have um, 1600 industry partners um, to help you get up get set up with your first job. So we are located just about 10, 15 minutes away from downtown Melbourne. Um, so it is a separate campus and we've been around since 1853. Um, so that means lots and lots of beautiful old buildings. Um, we do definitely have modern facilities um, and a lot of new, um, new buildings that have come up as well that are really um, great places to study and hang out. So one of the best parts of um, being a student at Uni Melb is, you know, location. Um, Melbourne was rated the most um, livable city in the world for seven years in a row. Um, we're currently number two, um, so there's so many different things to do. It's very much a multicultural city. Um, there, you know, people from all over the world live in Melbourne. Um, our international student body is is very diverse as well we have students from over 130 different countries um, and everyone's sort of in the same boat where they're wanting to make friends um, lots of different you know student clubs and sports um, and so on um, we are really close to the great ocean road which is pictured here and it's about an hour away um, so really easy access to nature great hikes and so on um, and close to the beach as well. Um, do feel free to sign up for our mailing list or book a Zoom call with me one-on-one -on -one if you have any further questions. And I will pass it to my colleague and thanks very much for your time. Thank you so much, Julia, for sharing the University of Melbourne with everyone tonight. Our next school is going to be American University of Paris. Bonjour, my name is Jen Boucher. I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions with the American University of Paris. AUP is a private urban liberal arts university located in the heart of Paris, France, in the same neighborhood as the Eiffel Tower, the 7th arrondissement. We are an American university, so four-year, fully accredited American degrees. All classes are in English, but we're just located in Paris, France. Our student body consists of over 1,000 students from 100 countries. So no matter what class you're in, you're going to gain very valuable perspectives and diverse perspectives from students, not only from different states, but from different countries and cultures from all over the world. So really, um, all their opinions are based on their backgrounds, beliefs, their upbringing, what makes them who they are today. 16 is the average class size, 9 to 1 is a student to faculty ratio, and just like our students, our faculty also come from all over the world. About 30 countries and 70% of the faculty speak three or more languages. We have 26 majors and 39 minors. These are in the fields of business, politics, communications, arts, and humanities with an international emphasis. We're also focused on experiential learning and interdisciplinary education. So you'll find that many classes take you out into the city or even other countries to explore. This is a map of the 7th arrondissement where we are located, and you'll see the eight campus buildings are circled. It's about a 15 minute walk across the furthest points of campus, but usually it's about a five or 10 minute walk between classes. 
we are an open urban campus feel that is truly woven into the city and we're surrounded by businesses cafes restaurants um, apartments um, really lively area of town we have tons of clubs and activities on campus, all student run based on students' interests. But one of my favorite events of the year is called the World's Fair. This is very similar to a college fair, but every table represents a different country with food from their homeland. So bon appetit. One of my favorite aspects of AUP are indeed the study trips. These are attached to various classes. So students travel all over the world with their professor and classmates to experience what they're learning in the classroom in person. Some recent trips have included Shakespeare in London, psychology in Cairo, film in the Netherlands, and politics in Israel. We also offer cultural excursions, which are non-academic fun trips, mainly throughout France, that range from a perfume making class or a theater performance in Paris to visiting various cities and regions like Normandy and Nice for the weekend. Housing is a bit unique compared to most universities. Instead of the dorm with the RA and the meal plan, our housing office will find and furnish various residences for our students. So these can be dorms at times, apartments, or even hotels converted into apartments. But it does vary by semester, so stay tuned for more information. Um, although they also vary in price and distance from campus, along with the amounts of roommates, whether it's single, double, triple, um, these apartments or these facilities, I should say, do come fully furnished. So all you bring with you from your home country would be clothing and toiletries. Now to apply to AUP, you would submit the common application or apply to AUP directly. These are all of the application requirements, but keep in mind regarding transcripts, the average GPA is 3.3 unweighted, but there's not a required GPA to apply to AUP. We are also test optional, always have been even before COVID-19, but the average SAT is 1265, average ACT is 30. Although we do admit students for both spring and fall entry, we do get the vast majority of, our, of um, our applications for the fall. So we begin reviewing applications for the fall in mid November. From that point forward, you should hear an admissions response within a couple of weeks. Here's the cost of attendance for the 2021 through 2022 school year to give you an idea of how much it would cost. Um, grand total is roughly 50,000 euros per year for the cost of everything. Now, when you apply to AUP, you'll be considered for scholarships and more in, in particular the Global Citizen Award, which is the first one you see. But if you'd like to apply for more financial aid, you can fill in FAFSA and the AUP aid application to be considered for our tuition and scholar awards. 94% of our students have a job or are in grad school within one year of graduation. 80% report an international element to their career and 50% report that a professor personally helped them on their career path. We have 20,000 alumni in 145 countries all over the world. So if you're looking for that smaller, more tight knit university environment, very diverse student body, but also want to embark on a global career, we could be an amazing starting point for you. Once more, I'm Jen Boucher with AUP. I'm also based in California, so a bit closer than Paris, and I'm always happy to answer your questions. Um, there's my email address, and I look forward to working with you. Merci. Thank you so much, Jen, for sharing American University of Paris. We're moving on to school number three. We're going to be hearing from Temple University, Japan. Okay, thank you very much. There we go. If you can see my screen. So, ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning from Tokyo and Temple University Japan campus, TUJ for short. We travel we were in Paris. Now we're traveling a little bit out east or west depending on your perspective to Japan. For those of you who don't know us, we are Temple University. Our main campus is on the east coast in Philadelphia. The second campus is in Rome, Italy, and the third campus is in Tokyo, Japan. We are fully accredited by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, and so it is possible for you to study at all three campuses or any of our study abroad campuses around the world, um, or 
come to Japan for all four years and earn your US degree in Tokyo. Here are some key points on why students choose our Japan campus specifically. Number one is the quality education we provide. Uh, we are teaching students the skills necessary to succeed in the, and work in any field. You are earning an American education in Japan. Second reason why students choose us is the diversity we bring in. We have students coming from all over the world. We have many third culture kids who have a very, very diverse background. And when you ask them where are they from and they say all over, we know what that means. Third reason why students choose us is because of the study options. Now, this may seem like a short list, but it is quite a comprehensive list when you are looking into English programs offered in Japan. Our top majors are international business studies, international affairs, art, and communication studies, to name a few. Communication studies is, has two tracks. You can choose between journalism or film production. Fourth reason why students choose us is because of our affordability. Our tuition is about 15,000 US dollars a year in comparison to a public university out of state and a private university on the low end. It is quite an affordable option. In many ways, it's cheaper for you to go out of country than it is to go out of state. We are the only full four-year university in Japan to accept financial aid because we are an American university. Here is that rundown again, in case you want to scan it with your phone and it will refer you to the website for all of the pertinent information related to FAFSA. We do accept GI Bill benefits if I have any military uh, families, as well as we give out merit-based scholarships regardless of your citizenship, nationality, or residence. Here is a quick uh, lowdown on how to apply to TUJ. In the interest of time, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I will give you that breakdown on how to apply. There is the online application. Uh, we do accept the Common App as well. If you are a native English speaker, we are test optional. Transcripts can be sent electronically, and there is a personal statement and application fee. Uh, a fifth reason why students choose us is because of the career prep. How great is it to say you have job experience in Tokyo, one of the most international cities in the world. We will help you with your part-time job search internship and seeking that full-time employment. We have students working all over the world. Of course, many of them want to stay in Japan, and so they are able to do that. If you're looking to connect with students, catch us online, catch us on social media. Uh, Instagram account is TU Japan. We also have a special webinars that run regularly throughout the year. We'll be putting up a sample lesson shortly, so be sure to catch that. Uh, last March, we had a tea time with our student ambassadors, and they talked about how they save money and also how they spend money. So if you register for that, you'll be able to catch the recording. Highly recommend you check that out. My name is Kelly. Uh, you can always contact us. Our inbox accepts emails 24-7. We may not be able to reply right away, but we will definitely get to you when we can. Uh, you can also set up an individual counseling session with us online, and hopefully one day we'll be able to see you in person. So thank you very much. And that's Temple University Japan Campus. Thank you so much, Kelly, for presenting on Temple University Japan Campus tonight. All right, we've heard from three great programs. We've been to three parts of the world and we have three more presentations coming up. I just wanna remind our attendees to think about putting a question into that Q&A box to follow up or learn more about any of the schools that, and programs that have presented or the information to come. And also don't forget to check the chat for that contact information so you can follow up after tonight. This is just a sneak preview. All right, well, I'm happy to welcome our next presenter. We'll be hearing from the Consulate General of Canada. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Education in Canada session. Uh, my name is Karen Palmarini. I am the academic coordinator at the Canadian Consulate in Denver. 
Um, my role is to promote study in Canada and provide guidance to connect with the, the right school. Um, I am tonight representing the whole country of Canada. Our office in Denver um, do help Canadian companies uh, develop business in our state, in Colorado and around our uh, neighbor states, Utah, Montana, Wyoming, and Kansas, and Montana as well. Uh, and and so tonight, uh, representing the whole country of Canada is a vast task. So I'm going to do uh, my possible. And uh, really, um, if you want to know more and if you have more questions, you will have to, uh, to email me and contact me. So Canada is uh, the second largest country of the world. And there is 10 provinces and three territories. Most of the school of Canada are located within the 10 provinces. So you have 10 provinces to choose from, whether you want to study and see yourself live uh, close to a, uh, a coast, be the beach community of the west or the eastern coast, the mountain, the uh, busy large city or more remote area, uh, Canada has a lot to offer. Since COVID-19, uh, many campuses and institutions in Canada have offered a virtual tour uh, to discover their campus and new campus. Uh, through the campus tours across Canada, you will be able to uh, see uh, documentaries and meet with wildlife and know more about art, films, music, and also connect with uh, the, what the campus has to offer. Uh, one of your tool of choices in order to explore what Canada has to offer is to go on the educanada.ca uh, to find university and colleges program that you have determined uh, yet or not. You will find an um, estimate of how much the tuitions and program costs, book supplies and local transportation and other aspect of uh, expenses. What is important to know, it's our office in Denver, can facilitate introduction with Canadian University Admission Conference. However, the Canadian Consulate does not provide immigration and visa services. However, we are um, able to, uh, to find the right contact for you and the best way it's to connect with the website cic.gc.ca. Just wanted to focus tonight since uh, if you attend this session, you may be seriously interested in Canada that as of October 2020, the international students to come to Canada must uh, study at an approved designated learning institution or DLI with the COVID-19 readiness planned approved by their province and territory. Same thing, the cic.gc.ca website will be your best uh, points to start your research. I really recommend that um, you read through the website and follow the steps. Uh, you will have to um, uh, download an app, Arrive Canada, to provide mandatory travel information. Please note that travelers should not make travel plans until they have met all requirements and obtain all necessary authorization to qualify to come to Canada under the new rules. And um, FYI that there is an update coming on May 4th to know what are the new uh, regulations and maybe travel restriction and border opening for international students who will apply for next September. Same thing for study permit. There is a few processes that the website will uh, give you. I went through the online resources. Um, so Canada, um, blessed with the incredible nature and modern city, and vast array of world-renowned educational institution. You can choose from large prestigious city university, major community colleges, and renowned technical institution to intimate university and colleges, mid-sized town or, or rural area. So to name a few cities, you have to choose from Montreal, Van Vancouver, Toronto, Calgary, and many other uh, provincial cities. Canada has the perfect match for each student. 
Did you know that over 2,000, 2,065 international students in Canada across all level of studies. Yes, you will become part of the large international student community in Canada and study in one of our many quality institutions. That is what Canada education is known for around the world, a thriving research culture. Universities with most current and advanced academic program so you can compete successfully to a globalized world and make a contribution to your field and society. Canadian colleges, polytechnics conduct major applied research. So hands on. Um, scientists are globally leaders in their field benefit from Canada. I'm sorry, from Canada brings um, forth for scientific research. Am I, am I, I'll go yes. over time. We okay. just hit so your you, six minute mark here. Yes. Thank you. If you need more information, please contact me. I will be happy to answer to you in the chat. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen, for sharing about the range of options and opportunities um, up north in Canada. All right, we're moving on to our fifth school today. We're going to be hearing from London Metropolitan University. Hello everyone, my name is Jadon Joyner and I'm representing London Metropolitan University. Again, my name is Jadon Joyner and that is not how I really sound. I love just doing a fake British accent, so feel free to laugh all you want. I am an international officer based in Los Angeles, California, and I am your first contact with the university. Any question that you might have, feel free to come through me. My territory is anything west of Chicago, and I also have a partner, Megan Godding, who works on the East Coast with applicants on the East Coast, and we are just excited at the opportunity to help you, and we're here to answer any questions that you might have. So a little bit about London Metropolitan. We are based in central London. We have two campuses, our Holloway Road campus and our Altgate campus. We have about 10,000 students and we offer a really cool program that allows you to get your bachelor's in three years and your master's in one year. We also offer international student scholarships. We accept US financial aid and we accept US um, veterans benefits. We also have about 200 undergraduate programs. And so we have just about everything that you can really think of. So one thing we're really passionate about London Metropolitan is diversity. We really believe in making university accessible to anyone and everyone looking to get an education. That's why over 64% of our students are BAME students, which stands for Black, Asian, or Minority Ethnic students. We have over 147 different nationalities represented with at least um, with with all of our with 96% of our staff, students, and faculty coming from at least one underrepresented group in higher education. And so again, we do believe in making the education accessible to everyone. One of our famous alumnus is Sadiq Khan, who is the current mayor of London. He is the first Muslim mayor of London, and he believes in London as a higher education capital of the world. And we really believe and strive and strive to, um, to be that at London Metropolitan. So again, why should you get your degree in the UK? I know you guys are it's kind of far away, but it's often cheaper than the out of state or private options that are available in the US. Again, we do offer international scholarships for students. There is the UK post-study work visa, which allows you to work in the UK for up to two years after you graduate. And then a lot of times people will get sponsored and they're able to stay longer if they want to. There are longer term breaks, so if you want to come back to the United States, you can do that for Christmas or for spring break. And again, we accept U.S. financial aid. And then I want to add one that's not on here that I just looked up, but it's also very, very easy to travel to other parts of Europe. When I was looking at some tickets, I saw you can literally get to Greece or, um, or to France or to Ireland for under $30 round trip on a plane. So, so many reasons why you should get your degree in the U.K. We are rolling admissions with no application fee. We have a flexible September and January start date. We generally accept students around a 3.0, but you feel free to contact me about your qualifications. 
We are test optional for the fall and our application deadline is for September 21. Again, it's rolling and you can apply through the UK uh, Common App known as UCAS or apply directly to London Met for free. So now I'm gonna go through a couple of pictures just so you can get a really good feel for the campus. So this is a picture from our Holloway Road campus. This houses our business, human sciences, social sciences. It houses the, our super lab, which is one of the largest teaching labs in Europe. We're directly next to the Emirates Stadium where Arsenal Football Club plays. We're a five minute tube ride from um, St. Pancras Station and King's Cross Station. If you wanted to take the, uh, the train to Hogwarts on platform nine and three quarters, you could, you could take the train from King Cross Station or you can go to St. Pancras Station and take the Eurostar to Paris. This is a picture Oh, this is a picture from our Altgate campus. It's located in East London. It houses our more artistically inclined majors, architecture, design, fashion, theater, all of those things. And it's housed in a really amazing uh, location. This is a picture of our super lab, which is again, one of the largest in Europe. This is one of our learning centers. And a lot of times when you think of the UK, you think of this really old ancient architecture, but we've really done our best to combine those conventional um, that conventional architecture with a lot more modern Ikea-esque architecture. That, and so you get these amazing learning centers, these cutting edge classrooms. We have TV studios and newsrooms that students have access to, art and architecture and design studios. And all of this artwork here is done by students. We have gyms, sports halls, dance studios, really anything that you can think of cafes, bars, and chill out zones. And it's really amazing because London was ranked the number one city for international study. And so you get a chance to interact with students from all over the world. As a London Metropolitan student, you get discounts to different things around campus and around the city. You can go to shows like The Lion King for $20. So there's so many different things that you have access to. And then I always tell students to check out this video. It's called the Do Something You Love. You can type it in on Google or YouTube and it gives you a really good feel for the campus because it's a student led tour. And then again, if you have any questions, you can take a screenshot here. Um, but my name is Jadon Joyner and it was a pleasure to meet with you all and I hope to have more conversations with you all in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jadon, for presenting on London Metropolitan. All right, we have had five presentations and we're on to number six. We're going to be traveling this time to China to Deep Quinshan University. Hi, welcome to my presentation for Duke Quinshan University. I'm Lindsay, a global recruitment officer, and Duke Quinshan University is Duke University's new joint venture university in China. Essentially, what we're offering is like a Duke Education 2.0 taught in English in China to top international students from all around the world. You don't have to know Chinese language to apply or to get in because the curriculum is taught in English, although Mandarin is the required foreign language for at least two years. As a joint venture university, we're owned and operated by two, sorry, three partners. The first is Duke University, which most years is ranked in the US top 10 and worldwide top 20. Our second partner is Wuhan University, which is one of China's top 10. Our students study on both campuses, meaning at DKU in China and at Duke University in the US and earn two degrees. The third partner is the city of Quinshan, where our campus is located. Quinshan is one of the greenest and wealthiest cities per capita in all of China. It's also an emerging technology and innovation hub, much like Silicon Valley. From here, it's about 21 minutes on the high-speed train to Shanghai, which is one of the biggest and most international hubs in all of Asia. It's also about 20 to 30 minutes from China's historic water towns like this one. So in addition to all the modern amenities that big cities like Shanghai have to offer, our students also have easy access to places like this that have retained more of 
like historic and traditional China. The flagship study away is the study away at Duke program where students would typically come during either the fall or the spring semester of the third year with the option to add on an additional summer term to Duke University in Durham, North Carolina. While at Duke, they live on campus. They get to take from the full menu of course offerings at Duke University, participate in clubs and activities, and pretty much have the full Duke experience. And as I mentioned before, they do graduate with those two degrees, a Chinese degree conveyed by Duke Quinjian University and a US bachelor's degree from Duke. We have an American style, research-oriented liberal arts and sciences university, delivering an innovative, practical, and global approach to higher education. Our demographic breakdown is going to be about 60% Chinese nationals, 40% international. Um, it's about 20% US students. When we're at full capacity, we'll be about 2000 undergrads. And already we represent over 50 different countries and nationalities. Here's a quick look at our majors. They are all interdisciplinary dual majors that have been pre-packaged together like a double major. In general, these are great preparations for international relations, diplomacy, international business, STEM fields, and much more. We are teaching on a two, uh, sorry, a seven week mini master schedule where students take just two classes at a time and get to do a deep dive. We also reserve every Friday for experiential learning outside the classroom. So clubs, sports, activities, research, internships, and some really excellent field trips where our students get to explore different regions around China. We have the best student residences I've ever seen anywhere. They are all brand new, spacious, and glorious. The tuition uh, sticker price is tied to Duke Universities. So right now it's just under $57,000 per year. But the cost here for housing, meals, and travel is about $10,000 less per year than what the College Board recommends you would budget if you were paying for housing and meals in the United States. Additionally, over 80% of our international students receive reduced tuition through scholarships and financial aid. And those scholarship packages do go all the way up to 100% tuition coverage. So if you're a really fantastic fit, you could potentially see all of your tuition wiped out for all four years. The great news is if you apply to DKU and you get in, we actually offer to fly you to China in late April to have a four day long weekend where you would stay in a local hotel, tour campus, tour the local area, take sample classes, meet all the other admits from all around the world and basically see, does this feel like a good fit for you before the deadline to decide whether or not you commit and actually go here. If you would like to get in touch with us, um, get some of our emails and maybe sign up for our full length info sessions, please scan this QR code and fill out the info there. If you give us your t-shirt size, we will mail you a really nice, super soft Duke Quenchon t-shirt. And this works if you're watching the recording too. So thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Wonderful, thank you so much, Lindsay, for presenting on Duke Quenchon University. Well, we've reached the end of our six by six presentations. I love that for each presentation, we were in a different country of the world. Uh, so I think it just shows the global opportunities in higher education. I want to give everyone time to think if they have any questions they want to ask in the Q&A to follow up on, and also to make sure that they're able to, that anyone watching is able to grab contact information for follow-up in the chat. So I'd love to have every representative come back on camera, and we're going to answer a live Q&A question. Um, we're going to go in the exact same order that you presented. As the person ahead of you finishes, feel free to just turn on your microphone and answer the question. I won't call on you from person to person during this part, a little more casual to free flow one through six. So I'd love to hear a piece of advice, a tip um, that you have for students that are considering going outside of the United States for their next steps in college. 
because um, you are the pros to help with that. So we will start with Julia at University of Melbourne. Hi everyone. Um, so my advice, um, well, first of all, it's great that you guys have all attended this presentation. Um, I think it's a really great idea to consider going internationally. Um, and my advice would be really just to reach out to different reps. Um, we're all available as a resource. You know, you can send us an email. Um, a lot of us are able to do a Zoom meeting um, and just ask questions that you want, want answers to. And that's a, a great way to learn more about the university. In regards to studying internationally in particular, there's different levels of getting out of your comfort zone. So um, you can go as far as attending a school where maybe they don't speak your native tongue or the country doesn't itself. Um, maybe there's a different currency, which actually would be the case always, but um, maybe there's a different education system. So whereas like, like some are American, some are non-American. So you wanna think about how far you want to go out of your comfort zone when you're choosing these universities and asking about what they specifically offer. Okay, to mix it up a bit, my advice would be to get a portfolio together. Uh, if you're not like me and you don't like to be organized, um, I'm going to convince you you should. Think of all the pens you can buy and all the post-it notes. That's That makes me happy. Uh, that's why I live in Japan. But anyway, um, I think having a portfolio will really help you because you know, when you look at a bunch of colleges, everything's gonna blur in together. And so it really helps you to stay organized and remember your deadlines, um, which countries will require you to get a visa, what those deadlines are too, that will help you stay on track. I'm gonna chime in. I think for me, uh, the one of the good advice would be to connect with alumni of your area. If you, um, if you know the chapter of the university, Canadian university would like to attend. So I know around Denver, we do have a few uh, alumni chapter from you know, some of the Canadian universities. So if you're interested in uh, linking with one of the uh, other alumni of the area would be great. And also I think uh, getting in touch with the admission counselor of that school because they have answer for a lot of things and first of all also visiting a uh, virtual uh, virtually the campuses if you cannot uh, visit the country yet <laughs> great advice from everyone i'm stealing one from another stripe scan so the, the first one i would say is to breathe and enjoy your senior year i think there's so much pressure kind of put on college and it is important but i also think it's important to enjoy uh, the rest of your year and enjoy the time with your friends. The second thing I would say is to reach out not only to alumni, but to students. A lot of times there's students that you can access through um, the different universities that you're interested in and really get a feel for the campus and a feel for the university through them. Because we are reps, we are trying to sell the school and there's so many things that we love about it, but also talk to the students and they'll give you a really good feel for what it's like. My best advice is really just go now, you know, don't put it off and say, oh, maybe someday, um, you know, you may have heard others tell you before, the longer you get into the adulting process, the harder it gets to make a move overseas. You know, you build relationships, you might have pets, the visa processes can be really difficult if you don't have you know, a job or a place to live secured overseas. Um, I personally moved to Japan having never set foot there before. And then I moved to China having never been there even for a vacation before. And it was wonderful. I loved both experiences. And I didn't even have nearly the comprehensive support network that you would get through these different universities. Um, and the built-in friends. It's very inclusive. Everybody understands that you'll be homesick and that you'll have culture shock and the things that you'll go through, um, but you're going to have the time of your life. So be brave and take that leap. I loved all of this advice. It was so perfect and spot on. And I hope that it really, from just the logistics to um, you know, taking, keeping the right perspectives going through this process and being bold um, and thinking about taking that leap and finding the place that might be, you know, the right fit that's enough outside your comfort zone, but where you can still feel like 
it's the right place for you. So thank you all so much. Um, we are reaching the end of our time together. So I first want to say thank you to all of our representatives for just not just the facts, the figures, those logistics of this process, but the excitement and the passion you have for each of your um, educational opportunities and the possibilities that exist for students on and off campus by choosing to take that leap and study outside the United States. For all of our attendees, whether you're watching this live or you're watching the recording, just know that these representatives and their colleagues are your number one resource. They're here to answer all those questions. There's really nothing too small um, to ask. And if they don't know the answer, they're gonna help connect you to the right person um, on campus for you to connect with. So think about it, be bold, be brave, follow up after today and learn more. Because also these presentations are just tiny, tiny peaks of the possibilities. And there's so much more for you to learn. All right, the logistics of finishing up tonight. So when you close your window, there's gonna be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. It's four questions. They're really short and easy, I promise. Um, this is just one of many different sessions that are being hosted as a part of the Rocky Mountain um, ACAC programming. We hope that you will sign up for more sessions if you haven't already. And in about a week's time, you'll be able to find this session's recording to watch again or share with family and friends. And you can also find all of the other session recordings in about a week's time after they've been recorded at that same website where you register, strivescan.com slash R-M-A-C-A-C. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you again for being here, watching, and best wishes in your college search. I know it can be overwhelming, but it is a really fun adventure that is ahead for you. Thanks a lot, and good night.